turn this down. Now it's not enough. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Zaria Selena. If you don't know by now, I have a new car. I have a 2023 Kia K5 GT line in the color wolf gray with the red interior, red syntax material. I think that's exactly what it's called, the red syntax material. So I've been getting a lot of feedback on that video, a lot of questions. Um, most of the questions are about money. And a lot of people, you know, they were very considerate with their questions. They was like, okay, are you comfortable answering this? Like, can you give me this answer? If it's, you know, if you're comfortable enough to answer that question. And the answer is no, I am not comfortable with answering any type of questions about money. So I really wanted to answer a couple of these questions, but if y'all have any more questions about the car, please let me know down in the comments and I will try my best to answer them. I may not know all of the answers to the questions that y'all have, but I will try my best. So the main question I was getting was how much was my down payment? Now, my down payment, that was something that I was not going to go through with because I saw something on the internet that said that you were not required to do a down payment because that money just goes straight into the dealer's pockets but with the with the um payments that they were showing me with doing a down payment without doing it, i was like yo i just got my job i just got a full-time job the week before getting the car so i was like i don't have all of that to make so and so payments like this this is what i wanted my set payments to be and that is not it they were trying to give me a high extremely high payment probably i think double my payments now and pay it off in three years and i was like no i'm not doing that i'd rather stretch that out six years and maybe maybe refinance it and lower the payments then or just keep it going so if y'all don't know what refinancing is refinancing is say like you have a loan for 72 months which is six years and you want to extend that time period that you want to pay off on your car or your loan so you refinance it and it will give you additional months added on to there and that will lower your payments if i'm not mistaken correct me if i'm wrong because i'm, I'm trying to act like i know all the answers to this stuff when really i don't this is my first time so another question was payments someone a lot of you guys wanted to know what my payments were um payments are going to be different from person to person depending on um like your region or whatever what your dealer had the set price as and how well you negotiated your prices if there was even a negotiation on the table now see in my case the car was brand spanking new straight off the lot um plastic still in there still got that new car smell and everything um if y'all don't know what movie that is i need to watch my movies yeah the, my payments are not exactly where i wanted them to be it's a little bit higher than i want it to be and of course i don't like payments no how i have never had a car payment my other car was completely paid off paid in full when i got it so i never had a car payment never had to pay for the car or stuff like that but like repairs whatnot yeah i did that um but now I have car payment and I'm stingy with money. So this, this, uh, I knew what was gonna come. I knew that payments were gonna come with getting a car, but I just still don't like it. But I got what I wanted, so I got to pay the cost to be the boss, right? As far as saving up, now, this ain't a cheap car. It's not an expensive car either. And a car is the worst investment that you can ever make. My parents always told me that a car is the worst investment. So how I saved, I saved for years. Like 
every time, like anytime I had money, I saved. I'm, I'm always saving, 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 saving because you never know what could go wrong, what you need money for. So I would always save. I'm stingy with my money. I, I've been saving since high school. I just graduated college. So y'all know like how long that's been. That's like eight years of saving and spending, you know, here and there. I have a bad habit of shopping on Amazon, just shopping period. And then you got to factor in gas with that insurance and mm. so i saved up by working i was working since i was i think 16 say 16 or 17. um 17 i believe and so i was saving up since then i got a new job in about a year and that was paying um a couple cents more and then they got a raise so i was getting paid three dollars more and then I got a different job and they started paying $2 more. And I'm getting paid, I'm just getting paid more now at my current job than ever than in my other jobs. So I'm saving up with that. And as well as being a college student, um, my dad was a veteran. So I was getting education benefits through that and that helped pay for school. And they would give me a monthly stipend check i don't know if that's exactly what it's called but it was a monthly check that they would give me and i would use that money for whatever i needed but most of that money was saved because i knew what i needed to get and what i wanted to get actually so i saved that money i only got that money for um i think two years now if i would have known about this sooner i would have had it all four years but whatever income that i was getting i was paying for that and i do marquee lights so i'm getting income from that me and my mom do food arrangements i get my cut from that so i'm just getting money 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 and saving that up and not spending it and it's really hard not to spend your money credit score i'm 22 first time buyer did not have to have a co-signer and reason being that is because when i got the job when I got the car, I was still working at my other job. So, you know, you tell them the two jobs that you're working, what your income is and your credit score. They pull your credit score. My credit score is um, high 700s. Um, not where I want it to be because it, it keeps dropping for some odd reason. I don't know what it is. I need to do a credit check on it and see like what's on there, what I can knock off because you know it's just, it's just certain things that you never know what's on your credit or what's running down now how i boosted my credit score is i have a credit card that i got either 20 i think it was 2019 or it might be the december december 2018 or december 2019 it's one of those two and i've been working on my credit score since then and the reason being why i got a credit card is because i needed a loan I needed a student loan because I lost one of my scholarships because my GPA dropped a little bit below what the qualifications were to get that scholarship. So I had to get the loan and in order to get the loan, I had to get the credit card. So I got the credit card, started working on my credit because I never had credit. So I was like, this is the perfect time. If I want to get a car when I graduate, I need it to have credit. So, you know, I pay here and there with my credit card and pay it off immediately as soon as this thing posts like if i spend 750 at chick-fil-a it'll post to my statement within like two to three days boom i'll pay it right then and there because i'm not waiting to the due date to pay it the more payments you make they're like okay you have a good payment history boom 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 your credit score is now raised so that's what i've been doing i heard the self app is really good for boosting your credit score but i personally have not used the self app um, another app my brother put me on was Kickoff. Um, so that is a Kickoff app. I have been using that. I am still using it now. Like I, I did my, I think it was like five months and now I think I'm doing it for a year. So just paying on it because you can never go wrong with having good credit. Even though I have the car right now, I still want good credit. As far as financing goes, I did not finance through the dealer. I always heard that that was a terrible thing to do. I financed through a bank. It was, I am financed through, um, I'm financed through a bank. I'm not gonna say which bank, but yeah, financed through a bank. 
my bank was telling me, well, one of my banks was telling me, if y'all hear something, that is my mama downstairs. I don't know what she's doing. But yeah, so I got it financed for six years. So I will be paying the bank for the next six years. And I'm just ready to pay this car off. My insurance, I'm on my mom's insurance, so it is extremely low. It's almost as much as my old car. My old car is like 82. It was at 70 something, but then it went to 82. Don't know why. But my insurance is $88. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Cue the applause. Cue the applause. Stay on your parents' insurance, y'all. Stay on it and stay on the insurance because if I wasn't on there, I'd have been paying like, I think they say at least like 120, 130 or something like that. I'm staying on my mama's insurance. Take the easy route. Cause Lord, I do not like dishing out no money. Um, trade in value. I think somebody asked me about my old car, like what I do with my car that I traded in. I did not trade my car in. And reason being is because it's an older car and I knew I wasn't gonna get what I wanted to sell it for. I have, it's a 2007 Chevy Impala. Um, it's in good condition. Back to like so-called payments or down payment or whatever. Discounts. Discounts was a huge factor into this. Like I said, I was a first time buyer. So I got the first time buyer discount and I just graduated college. So I got a recent college grad discount. So I got those two discounts onto my car. So that was, you know, every little bit counts. Should have been some more because like I said, I do not like payments, y'all. I do not like payments. Ugh. Um, the only thing that I can say that I hate about the car, I actually saw this in a video, like a little point of view driving. Uh, I watched so many videos of this car before I got it. So many. I've been watching these videos for like a year and some change, y'all. It was just ridiculous how many videos I watched. I was watching nighttime videos of people driving it, daytime, doing a tour. I watched so many tours, so many car tours, all of that. I watched so many and this guy he was driving in the snow and he was braking and he was saying that the brakes felt funny and I was like oh dang I really don't want that problem I, like, I really hope that's not gonna be when I get the car but I don't know if it's in every K5 but it feels funny when I'm braking like under my foot it feels like a little grinding type of effect I don't know what that is so when I go in for my monthly like check up or whatever at the dealership i will let them know what is going on another con is the wireless charger i have not used it anymore since y'all seen me do the car tour video i have not used that thing no more because it's just pointless i got my cord i'm gonna just plug it in i'm not about to sit there and try to lower it into the thing just for it to charge and it's supposed to have a fan on it to keep the phone cool but it doesn't charge fast and I like to be able to pick my phone up or whatever. You know, you're not supposed to, but I pick my phone up while I'm driving. So <laughs> I do that and you know, I have a phone mount now. I got to put that in my car. Um, if y'all have not seen my Amazon haul video, go check that video out as well. I'll go ahead and link that up here. So y'all go ahead and check that out. Um, What else? As far as the, the the steering wheel capability, like when the car itself drives, like autopilot or whatever, that is sort of a con because I was driving today and the car, it wasn't picking up on the lines too well in the road, so it kept going over and it was going hard to the right. Luckily, nobody was over there, but it does say keep your hands on the steering wheel. My hand was on the steering wheel, but it was just hard resisting. I'm sorry. I'm tired, long day. But I, it's, it is helpful like if you just necessarily have to look back or look down or somewhere just press the little button and it'll steer the car for you um cruise control i like that it picks up on the cars in front of you and you can do the following distance but i don't like that car hitting the brakes for me you ain't got to hit the brakes for me i seen the car in front of me you doing a boop, 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 or whatever i'm trying to back outside the other day a car was coming 
and I had hit the gas just a little bit to back up. No, the car said, mm. I was like, what the freak? And I pressed the gas and it didn't move at first. I had to hit it a little bit harder and it finally moved. Y'all, this is just all stuff that is just new to me. Um, another con, like with the camera, it doesn't pick up on people or like it doesn't beep for people. Most cars beep for any object moving, but it only beeps for cars. Y'all don't care about people? Come on, Kia. So, um, other than that, I don't really have any other cons. I love everything about the car, y'all. When I be in, I just be having the time of my life. I love it. I need a name for it. Y'all let me know what names to do. I wanted it to be Storm, but that seems like a basic name for the car. Um, I thought about Shadow, Misty. Uh, let's see what names I got. So y'all help me choose what name for the car. I got Nova, Sky, Phoenix, Dakota. I had Denver and then Misty. So y'all let me know like what names if y'all like any of those. Cause my old car was named Pearl, it's white. And so I just need a new name for the car. I need a new name. But yeah, I need a name for it. But if y'all have any more questions, leave them down in the comments. If y'all have name suggestions for the car, please leave them down in the comments. Um, yeah, um, I don't think I answered every, I don't. I know I had, didn't answer every question that y'all had. Um, y'all wanna see more videos, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on the post notifications so you can be notified when I upload a new video. I appreciate y'all for sticking around this long in the video, and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.